Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and I just wanted to do a quick video on planning and today I want to talk about some stickers. Last year I found some Ray Dunn planners and I found the planners that she first came out with had the little black banding that goes over the planner. I found a lot of those planners. So I kept one, I sold the rest. I gave some away. A couple of weeks later, she came out with a bigger planner. It was in August. Fell in love with that planner. I'm actually looking to get another one this August. So I needed some stickers because I like to, I'm a girly girl. I like to stickers, bedazzle, bling, anything like that I love. So I talked to my cousin. She actually does planner. She's been doing it for a while. She goes between Ann Condorant and Happy Planner. So she told me to go to Michael's and you was telling me, you know, I could probably get 50% off, you know, or what have you. So after work, I did that. These are the first sticker books that I purchased for my planner. And I don't know the name of this sticker book, but I just got this because it had the holidays in it not going to do a flip through i just want to show you what it looks like somewhat so we have the holidays and then like this is january i have two sheets of that valentine's day i have two sheets but march i only have one sheet so in this sticker book the most popular months have two sheets. April, which is my birth month, two sheets. May, one sheet. June, one sheet. July, two sheets, which is surprising to me. August, one sheet. September, October, of course, November and December are going to have two sheets. And I'm not really going to do any flip throughs. I don't know if this book is something that's popular. I don't know the brand of it, but I just thought I would show you the rest of the sticker book. I didn't see any of these for some reason. But I did know this was back here. I don't know why I flipped to get to this because I used two of the stickers. Maybe because I thought this was included in December. I overlooked the ones in between December and here for some reason. Recollections is the name of the book. And I've heard some ladies talk about this on one of the Facebook planner groups that I'm in. So maybe this is a popular line. I'm just now seeing the name of this book. The next sticker books I purchased were from Happy Planner. That's why I actually went to Michael's to get some of the Happy Planner books. I purchased the Tiny. I'm not going to do flip throughs for these because everybody knows what Happy Planner is. Well, if you're a planner. And being that I'm new to planning, I thought this was the book number. But I just found out last week, this is the number of stickers that's in the book. I don't know. I just thought this was the book number. I never even read any of that. You learn as you go. I'll get better at it as I go. Then I got the mom. I went back a couple of days later because I wanted to include my monthly bills in the Ray Dunn planner. And I think my planner says plan ahead. And I went back and got the productivity. Not only did I buy stickers from Michaels, she also told me about Etsy. So I hadn't been on Etsy in years. When I say years, probably about six years. I decided just to go up there and look. The shop is called Planned and Pretty. And I purchased these 
for paydays. I purchased these for cleaning days. I use this particular sticker when I get up in the morning and I say I just can't do it, pick up the phone and call out of work. I'll use this Not Today sticker for my nail appointments. I'll use this sticker for grocery days. I'll use this sticker. And as you can see, the travel passport sticker has not been used, but I'm going to try to get some use out of this this year sometime. This sticker I would use for my Netflix and chill, but not really because we Netflix and chill all the time. I'll probably use this sticker when we go out to movies and stuff like that and just indicate what movie we went to see. So with all these stickers, I've actually purchased from Planned and Pretty twice. A lot of the Etsy shops, which I didn't know, they give out freebies. So with both of those orders, I got some freebies. I got this one. And this is from Shepherd Supply Co. I think they get stickers from other people or free stickers from other sellers and they include it in some of their packs. This sticker actually came from Planned and Pretty, and as you can see, I've used some of those stickers as well. And as far as the Shepherd Supply Co., I haven't used any of those yet. She also sent me some more freebies. And if I'm getting this wrong, please comment, help a sister out. Just like I said, I am really getting into planning, but I don't know all the terminology or what have you. But I think these are called die cuts. So I got this fall with these purple pumpkins. Got this cute wedding cake. And then I got this martini glass. All Etsy sellers don't give out free stickers. So just a heads up for the newbies out there like myself. These are some stickers that I actually purchased on Etsy as well. And the only reason why I purchased these stickers is because I'm house hunting right now and looking to purchase my first home. I thought these stickers were cute because they had the pack, you know, different boxes. Final inspection, house hunting, house inspection, call lenders, house hunting. All of these say the same. Then it has closing date, moving day. And I use this one because I've already met with my lender and know how much house that I qualify for. So I use that one. This says spend earnest money. This one says call home insurance. Send counter offer, put in offer, and different stuff like that. I didn't know the wording on these stickers were so small, but this is just a one-time deal, you know, buying a house or what have you, so I wouldn't need to purchase any more. But as you can see, I can't even hardly read her Etsy shop name. WhyDavisDesigns.com. I think that's what it says. She also sent me some freebies. And I think this one said sick day. I can't remember. I know one of them says buy stickers or something like that. And I used that one and I can't remember what that one was. But she sent me some freebies. So I like that. These stickers I purchased from Sugary Gal Shop. And I just purchased these for when I'm just running errands. I'll use this particular sticker. I switch up with all my stickers anyway. So one day I may use this one. One day I may decide to use another one. I don't use all of them. I just try to switch in between different stickers. I also purchased from the Sugar Regal shop the Sick Day. Because I couldn't find any Sick Day stickers that I really like. And I just decided to go with this one. These stickers I purchased from Plan to Blossom and I just had to have these stickers but when I got them 
I was kind of upset. I like the stickers, but the print is so small, as you can see. I went on her shop, I think it was last week, and it's actually closed, and it states that it will reopen in March. Yeah, the print is a little bit too small on this. I can't even read it. But she did include this in the package. Okay, moving on to some stickers that I've actually purchased this year. And I went into Michael's because I said I wanted to start budgeting, getting my expenses in order. Didn't know what type of planner I was looking for, but I went out looking and I didn't find any planners, but I did find some cute stickers. And around that time, the new Happy Planner sticker books had actually come out and I wanted the one that said Boss Bay, but couldn't find it. I guess it was a high item. New year, new planning, new sticker books, new planning material. Everybody was taking everything off the shelves. I actually went into Michael's three days that week and Holly Lobby. Didn't know Joanne sold Happy Planner. Didn't know Tuesday morning sold Happy Planner stuff. So I didn't find my Boss Bay book from Happy Planner. So I picked up some of these sticker sheets and as you can see i haven't even opened them so i picked up two of those and then i just picked up this one because i like the rose gold in it these right here were from michael's if i didn't state that this particular sticker book i actually purchased from holly lobby and i use this for my budget planner. I'm not gonna do a flip through. Just want to show you some of the books that I purchased. Then I purchased this Happy Planner from My Big Ideas and purchased this because of the rose gold and it had Boss Bay on it. I really was looking for that Happy Planner sticker book. So as you can see, I have a lot of these Boss Bay rose gold stickers. I didn't know about Agenda 52, but when I purchased this, I purchased it because this is me right here. All of this is me. Love this sticker book. Did not actually look through it because if I did, I would have purchased another one. Got home and opened it up and looked through it. Not going to do a flip through, but because I'm pretty sure a lot of you have seen this. This is a very popular book. Love, 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 love. Fell in love with that couple of days later I was in bed and I didn't want to get up and go out to look for any planner stuff so I ordered some planner stuff online got a some discounts and stuff from Holly Lobby but just had to have another one of these agenda 52 girls sticker packs so as you can see I purchased another one I thought I purchased three but for some reason I only can find two so I purchased that one Looked on YouTube at some of the flip throughs of Agenda 52 and decided to purchase more. So I got They You Got This, House Planning, and Floral Daily Task. Love the flip throughs of these, so I decided to purchase more. Then I was on the hunt for the Happy Planner sticker books. A lot of people were actually finding them some people weren't. The planner community was in a frenzy looking for these books. Went to Michael's looking like every other day. They had boxes everywhere. Each day I went, those same boxes were sitting there. I was kind of pissed off and I was asking what's going on. Why haven't these boxes been unpacked? So I just kept coming back, kept seeing those boxes. I was about to call corporate. I really was. I was pissed off. I had got a call from Michaels because I did place a online order for the extension pack for one of the planners that I have. And it had arrived, so I had to go in store to pick that up. Went in store to get that, and I found what I was looking for. Found the travel, and I should have got more than one, but I didn't know my cousin needed or wanted any of them. And I just found out yesterday that she did. But I found the travel. Got my boss bay. I should have got two. 
but I got one. Now you can't find any in store because I was just in Michael's, I think it was Thursday. Got the farmhouse. The other two, or was it three more? Spirit. I think one said spirit or spiritual. And two that said journaling or what have you. I wasn't into those. I got the farmhouse because I'm into Ray Dunn. And I like a lot of the farmhouse setups with Ray Dunn products. So that's the reason why I got that one. I went back a couple of weeks ago and got the Apple Bat book. I'm using this in one of my happy planners to label stuff. Thursday, I got the memory keeping book and I just like the little setup with that. Not gonna do a flip through, but I thought this would be useful for me to incorporate into my planner. And I got the food. And the reason why I got the food, because every time I spend money to eat out fast food or whatever, I'm just going to use the food to indicate, okay, you ate tacos for lunch, which is an expense. You ate IHOP pancakes, which is an expense. So just to track how much I eat out, I purchased this. But I was kind of upset because they didn't have subs and sandwiches in there. I was looking for one yesterday because I ate out at McAllister's a salad and a half of a sub and I wanted to indicate what I purchased and they didn't have any of the subs or sandwiches. I got to get my hands on some sandwich or sub stickers because I do eat them for lunch and you know, eat them quite a lot. So I need to pick up some of those. If you know any sellers or books that have subs, sandwiches or anything, it could be a sub, it could be a sandwich, it can be a hoagie or whatever, let me know. I'm your girl. I need that in my life. Moving on to my last stickers. I found out about these stickers after Black Friday. And this particular seller had a sale and I fell in love with these stickers. I have ordered since Black Friday. I'm probably on my fourth order plus my second order of digital stickers. Love Danielle. I am so in love with Danielle, so in love with her site, her stickers, and all of that. So as you can see, Oso Paper. I love Oso Paper. So I'm going to show you some of the stickers that I purchased from her. Can't show you the order that I purchased the stickers because I kind of combined them all in this one envelope. Because I'm waiting for her to come out with sticker albums. I have communicated with her. She said that the sticker album should be coming out in March, which is good for me. Because I am on a no span for February. I cannot buy any crafting, anything. I can't be in any type of crafting shop. I can't buy any more stickers until March. So I'm going to try to keep that up because I have bought a lot of planning material since I decided to do that budget planner this year. Isn't this pretty? And this is a lie because I have purchased hella stickers, <laughs> but I alternate between the ones that I use because of course these are beautiful. I'm not going to use all of these up and I've only used two so far, but this one had buy stickers on it as well so I use one of these not going to just use my whole sheet up for this I alternate between different buyers of what I use if that makes any sense to you so I got that one then I got wash day oh my god I think I just got that last week then I have this travel one Then I have this grocery and I alternate with this grocery. See, I used this grocery last week. When I go grocery shopping again, I may use this one. So I won't just attack this sheet and use up all of these stickers. I'll just alternate. I think I ordered some more stickers that's coming next week and it has 
groceries. So I alternate between the three, depending on how I feel. So I have the groceries, laundry, planning or crafting, I'll use that one. I use this one if I'm doing online shopping or if I'm doing just some office work or YouTube or whatever, I may use one of these. Bills. Then I have this bills where you can actually put the amount and I put I put the bill at the top and then I put the amount in paid. I have this one for payday. I may use this one for payday or one of the paydays in here. So I just alternate. A girl with the plan. I got that yesterday. Car wash. That came yesterday as well. Oil change. I got yesterday. as well as the planner girl, the mini Nista. I don't know which number this is, but I got that yesterday. The Let's Plan. Do I have two of those? See, I end up buying two of those, but they have two different color themes because you can pick the color themes. You pick the bright and I can't remember what the other color theme is. It's not stated on the sticker, but this is the bright and this was the more like pastel colored one. So I didn't know I purchased it. See, sticker crazy. I didn't even know that I purchased two of the Let's Plan sticker sheets, but I'll have them on standby. Then I got the one for squats. As you can see, nothing is filled in. I have not been to the gym this year yet. I've been paying for my membership at Planet Fitness, but I just decided everybody is going to bust the gym wide open come January the 1st. So I am actually supposed to be going to the gym. Well, I was actually supposed to be going cycling with my sister this morning, but you see what I'm doing. But sometime this weekend, I'm going to actually try to get in the gym because I want to use my sticker so I know I'm going to get in the gym. This one says the daily steps. Then we have cycling, which I was supposed to be doing today. And then I have the one that shows exhaustion so she can't breathe. And this is me the majority of the time that I'm in the gym. I love also paper stickers. This is my top sticker buyer. As you can see, I have some stickers coming soon because I just placed the order before my no spin, which was January 31st. I purchased the order, so I have some more coming. I purchased 20 of her digital. I'll probably purchase 10 more and then 10 more until I actually get all of them. I did purchase a Cricut. I'm going to do an unboxing of that soon. I purchased that on Thursday. So I want to start printing my own stickers where I can have them in house where I don't have to actually go out and purchase any more stickers. I'll just purchase her digital downloads. I reached out to Danielle and asked her what type of printer paper she recommended. She told me online labels. So I'm actually researching that now. I love her paper. It's good quality and I'm really looking for this same particular printer paper. I want my stickers to come out just like this and with the coloring as well. So if you can recommend any type of good sticker paper that you have used, please leave it in the comments and I would love to purchase something. I want to get good use out of my Cricut and I want to be able to print quality stickers. These two right here are currently my favorites. I've also purchased from a lot of other sellers as well. I just found out about stickers by Rhonda and one of the girls on the Facebook planner group, she had this no spin sticker and I just had to have that sticker. And with my order, 
from Stickers by Rhonda. She did send me this little die cut. If I'm saying it wrong, please let me know. As you can see, I have some nice stickers here. These stickers right here so far are my top stickers. These stickers right here, planned and pretty. The originator of these stickers are Little Magic Prints. I also have some downloadable stickers from them as well. This is my little sticker collection so far. Like I said, this month I am on a no spin and I'm going to try my best to stick to that no spin. Also paper stickers, you can get them in different skin tones. You can get them with different hair, straight, natural, or locks. So she offers different skin tones, different hair. She also offers different skin tones, different hair colors. She offers the same different skin tone and different hair colors. If you know of any other sticker sellers that are my style, as you can see, please list it in the comments and I can check it out and I'll know what type of moves I need to make for March. Every other month, I will try to do a no spin. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll see you on my next video.